Hey everyone, I'm Eugene back with another lesson. Today we are going to be uh, learning about countries, nationalities, and languages. There's a lot to do today, so let's get right into it. Um, there's really nothing to review. This is the first lesson ever, so we're going to skip ahead. Key sentence. Um, you need, we're going to be doing key sentences at the beginning and at the end of the lesson. This will give you a preview of what's to come. If you don't understand it, that's fine. After the lesson, you will be able to understand it. We can reflect later on. Okay. Vocabulary. Let's move on to the uh, words you will need to know for this lesson. I put up a big picture of the earth here because we are going to be learning countries and a lot of them by region. We're going to start in the Western Hemisphere. Up here, we have... Canada, 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 America, United States of America, Mexico, 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 Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Okay. Adding a few more. Let's start over here. Deutsch, Deutsch. This is Germany. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Igiris, Igiris. This one doesn't really sound like what it you know sounds like in English. But it is England, England, Great Britain, France, 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 Spain, 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 Italia, Italia, Italy. <laughs> that one should be obvious. Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. This is Saudi Arabia. Indo, Indo. This one also doesn't really sound like what it should be in English, kind of. India. This is India. Indo. Let's go up here to Russia. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's move over now to the East Asian countries with their kanji, their fancy kanji. Start here. Kankoku. Kankoku. This is South Korea. South Korea. Right there. Neighboring Kankoku is... Nihon, Nihon, Japan, Nihon. And then down here we have Taiwan, Taiwan. This is, of course, Taiwan. And finally, Chugoku, 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 China, Chugoku, Middle Kingdom. And we have, uh, I believe this is the last one, yeah. The Philippines over here are Philippine, Philippine. Indonesia is, of course, Indonesia. <laughs> we have this fun one, Australia, 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 Australia. Say it fast enough, it sounds like the English word for Australia. New Zealand, New Zealand, New, New, Zealand. New Zealand. Remember, there's no Z sound in Japanese, it becomes a G, New Zealand. Mm. Moving on to Africa, at the top here we have Egypt. Egypt, Egypt. I threw Nigeria in here because I have a friend from Nigeria uh, that I made in Japan. This is Nigeria, Nigeria. And then we have, whoa, one with kanji in it. Minami Africa, Minami Africa. Minami means south. So this is South Africa, Minami Africa. And finally, Madagascar, Madagascar, Madagascar. This is Madagascar. You should know all of these countries. Um, it should be easy because most of their names come from their English names. There are a few exception, exceptions, but it's relatively easy. And then we have vocabulary that you'll need to know for this uh, lecture that aren't countries. Starting here, we have watashi. This is how you say it. I'm always going to present vocabulary in this form. Kanji, how to say it in uh, hiragana. And then the English translation. First we have watashi, means I. The first person pronoun, I. Then we have, I threw in boku, just to give some variation. There are many pronouns in Japanese. It's very frustrating at times, but uh, sometimes it can be fun. Boku, boku um, means I as well, but it has a boyish sound. So usually only males say this. Sometimes girls can say this. 
if they want to sound boyish. Some of you might be, you know, thinking, wow, that's kind of, isn't that sexist? Or like, why, you know, why does Japanese separate or distinguish male and female language? Well, it's not that it tries to do that. It's just that boku just sounds, naturally, it feels more masculine. So boys tend to use it more and girls tend to not. You know, there's no systemized sexism going on here. It's just how it is. Moving on. Watashi wa nani nani desu. The blank in Japanese, you can just say nani nani. Nani nani. Nani nani. Watashi wa nani nani desu. I am blank. Moving on. Nani nani ga hanasemasu. Nani nani ga hanasemasu. I can speak blank. And we'll put a language in there. And then we have this language that I'm speaking right now. Eigo, Eigo, English, the English language. We have this uh, suffix, I guess you could say, to determine nationality, jin. Nani nani jin. Nani nani jin. Then we have this suffix, finally, that determines language. Nani nani go, go, go. So now we're going to get into the grammar. How do you state nationality in Japanese? Well, <laughs> It's not very hard at all. You literally just put the country name and you add jin. This kanji character actually is the character for person. So you're saying person of this country. I have examples. An American is America jin, America jin, Canadian, Canada jin, Japanese person, Nihon jin, Taiwanese, Taiwan jin. Russian, Russia Jin. And then an Indian person would be Indo Jin. Simple, right? I have an activity for you. Um, you can go ahead and pause the video and try to do it by yourself, wherever you are. I'm going to, you know, solve it right now, go through it, and then give the answers on the next slide. So, first one we have Igirisu Jin, Igirisu Jin. What is the English for Igirisu? Well, Igirisu is England. So a um, person from England is an English person <laughs> or a British person or an Englishman, whatever you want to write. A French person. A French person is someone from France. The Japanese word for France is France. So you add France and Jin. This is France Jin. France Jin. France Jin. A Malagasy person. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right. I had to Wikipedia this. This is actually Malagasy is the denim, 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 I guess it's called, of uh, someone from Madagascar. So the Japanese would be Madagascar and Jin. Madagascar Jin. Madagascar Jin. Okay. Next is Australia Jin. Australia Jin is an Australian person. A Mexican person is someone from Mexico, 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 Jin, Mexico, Jin. Chugoku Jin, Chugoku Jin, Chugoku is China, and Jin is person. So Chugoku Jin is a Chinese person. And finally, a Brazilian person would be Brazilian Jin, right? Brazilian Jin. And here are the answers in bold. Moving on. Now, uh, to state your own nationality, you're going to use this formula. Watashi wa eijin desu. Watashi, again, means I. If you're a boy, you can optionally throw in boku. Uh, if you're a girl, I guess you can too, but you would sound boyish. Boku wa eijin desu. Watashi wa eijin desu. Examples. Watashi wa amerika jin desu. I am American. I am Spanish. And from this, we can assume that it is a boy speaking or a male. Another activity. We're going to fill in each person's speech bubble with the appropriate word. So they're saying, I am a person from this country. We're going to look at the map to the right and determine what country they're from and then fill in their speech bubble. Pause the video right now. If you want to try it on your own, I'm going to solve it myself right now. 
So the first girl, uh, looking at the map, her name is Aris. Aris says, Watashi wa nani nani jin desu. <laughs> She's from America. So she is America jin. And she would say, Watashi wa America jin desu. So this, ne? De, next, we have this guy with the pink background. He's down here. His name is Fabio. Fabio. Fabio is from Brazil. Brazil, this, ne? So that, ne? He says, Watashi wa Brazil jin desu. Brazil jin desu. This guy down here looks like he's from Mexico. His name is Jose. Jose. Boku wa Jose. Janai. <laughs> Boku wa Mexico jin desu. Is the right answer. Boku wa Mexico jin desu. He is Mexican. And last but not least, we have Tanya. Tanya. Is from Canada, Canada. So she would say, "Watashi wa Canada jin desu." Hmm. So this, ne? And here are the answers. Now we're going to move on to languages. You can state what language you speak. Oh, that came in before the formula. Sorry about that. Using this formula, A plus go. Language A, A go, A go. For example. German would be the country Germany plus language go, Deutsche go, Deutsche go. Chinese is obviously China and language, Chugoku go, Chugoku go, Chinese. You have to be careful though, because not every country can just be thrown on with go. For example, you can't say America go. There's no such thing as American language, right? Uh, instead, America jin. Igris jin, Canada jin, Australia jin, New Zealand jin, etc., etc. They all speak ego, ego, ego English. Another activity similar to activity one, we're going to fill in this chart here. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to do it yourself first. I'm going to solve it right now. Ego, ego, we learned means English, the English language. French, take France and go. The word for language, and you add it together. Fransugo, Fransugo. Italian would be Italia go, Italia go. Deutsch go, we determined in the last slide, means German, the German language. Kankoku go, Kankoku go. Do you remember Kankoku? Kankoku is South Korea. So, actually, this doesn't mean South Korean language, it means Korean in general. Korean. Chugoku go, we determined on the last slide, means Chinese. And then Indonesian, the Indonesian language, do you remember the word for Indonesia? Sounds like the English word for Indonesia, Indonesia, Indonesia. Uh, I'm going to put on the answers. This, and Indonesia speaks Indonesia go, Indonesia go. So this. De. You can use this phrase to say what language you you can speak. Watashi wa ego ga hanasemasu. Watashi wa ego ga hanasemasu. I can speak language A. For example, I can speak English. Watashi wa ego ga hanasemasu. I can speak Japanese. Watashi wa nihon a ah, nihongo ga hanasemasu. Watashi wa nihongo ga hanasemasu. Another activity, we're going to look at this map to the right. We're going to assume the people on this map can only speak <laughs> the language uh, that is, I guess, stereotypically associated with their country. So the first one, oh, pause the video right now if you want to solve. I think that's all of them, yeah. Pause the video now if you want to solve it on your own first. I'm going to solve it right now. Watashi wa, first one, watashi wa ego ga hanasemasu. Ego ga hanasemasu. What country is normally associated with English? You guessed it. England, over here. Who's from England? Elizabeth. Elizabeth is from England. So she would go right here. Next we have, watashi wa roshia go ga hanasemasu. 
Who would speak Russian on this map, most likely? Probably this guy here in Russia. Odex. 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 We'll go right here. Sugi, next. Watashi wa Spain go ga hanasemasu. Spain go ga hanasemasu. Dare de shou. Who is it? Probably the girl from Spain, Rosarina. Rosarina. Next. Watashi wa Chugoku go ga hanasemasu. Chugoku go. Probably someone from Chugoku, China. So over here we have Hyun. Hyun san. Hyun san. Konnichiwa. <laughs> she would go right here. Tsugi. Next. Watashi wa Italia go ga hanasemasu. Watashi wa Italia go ga hanasemasu. Probably the person from Italy. Antonio. Antonio san. Konnichiwa, Antonio san. Finally, we have Watashi wa Nihongo ga hanasemasu. Nihongo ga hanasemasu. Dare de shou. Who would that be? Probably Hiroki, right here in Japan. Hiroki. There are. Uh, sorry about that. There are the answers with their questions. Listening practice, activity five. I'm going to read. Uh, two sent two questions. I guess you could say two sentences, and I want you to write them down, whether it's in your head or on a piece of paper, in a notebook, in a workbook, doesn't matter. Write down, listen to what I'm about to say, and write down what you hear. I'm gonna say it twice per question. All right. Here we go. Watashi wa Amerika jin desu. Watashi wa ego ga hanasemasu. 私はアメリカ人です。私は英語が話せます。Here is the answer to the first one. Pause it if you don't want to see it just yet. 私はアメリカ人です。私は英語が話せます。Number two. Ready? Here we go. 私は韓国人です。私は韓国語が話せます。私は韓国人です。私は韓国語が話せます。Okay, I'm gonna put the answer to number two on the screen. Here we go. 私は韓国人です。私は韓国語が話せます。Mm-hmm. We're going to have listening practices, by the way, every lecture, just to make it interactive. Translation practice. After listening practice, we will have translation practice. So translate for me right now what these two lovely ladies are saying. Um, if you are given Japanese, translate to English. If you're given English, translate to Japanese. I'm going to put the answers on the screen now. Pause it if you want time. Uh, I'm going to explain this one. Watashi wa Kanada jin desu. Eigo ga hanasemasu. This is very simple, one to one. I am Canadian. Eigo ga hanasemasu. Now, I did leave out, I will say, I did leave out watashi wa on this sentence. That's okay. We're going to talk about it in a later lecture. That's all right. You should still be able to understand that she is saying, I can speak English. What about the girl on the bottom? I am German. I can speak German. The answer is. And again, I'm sorry, uh, it's not consistent with everything, but I did leave out Watashiwa here. If you wrote Watashiwa here, it's fine, it's not wrong. Perfectly okay. This is also okay. It's not wrong either. In fact, this is more natural, but we'll talk about that later. Now let's go back to our key sentence. Now that we've finished all the vocabulary and the grammar and the listening and the translation, let's go back to our key sentence. You should be able to understand this by now, and you should know that this means I am American. I can speak English. Again, I left out the watashi wa here. That's fine. You can do that. 
Homework. Describe yourself. Use what you learned today to, you know, introduce where you're from and what language you can speak. Okay? And then also there's a worksheet that goes with this lesson. Every lesson has a worksheet. They're free. They're on my website. Link in the description. Please go through that. Um, I also like to provide useful links and media at the end of every lecture. You know, I love these two dictionaries right here, tangorin.com and jisho.org. They're both great English to Japanese, Japanese to English dictionaries. Love them. If for some reason you don't like my pronunciation of Japanese, if you don't trust it, I am, it's true, I'm not a native speaker, and you know, sometimes my pronunciation may be a little bit off, maybe in tone or pitch or something like that. I generally think I speak Japanese very well. People say I do. Um, if you don't trust me though, I recommend you go to this website, forvo.com. Basically, you know, you can look up any word you want and native speakers of the language of that word that you looked up will have their own pronunciations for it. So if you don't think my pronunciation of ego is to your satisfaction, you can look it up at forvo.com and find plenty of pronunciations for that word. Otherwise, that's about it, guys. Thank you for uh, watching and for learning. I hope to see you in the next lesson.